Good morning, happy Easter. Welcome to the Brecon Presbyterian Church for our Easter Sunday communion service. This is a bilingual service in that part of the service will be in Welsh as well as in English. It's a communion service, and those of you who are at home watching this, if you wish to join in with us in fellowship, then if you provide some bread or wine or similar at home, you're welcome to join with us in this celebration of the risen Christ. We celebrate the fact that Jesus is alive. He's not a dead hero, but a risen and conquering king. Let us worship God. Christ a govodwid, evea govodwid unweir. Christ is risen, he is risen indeed. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Let us pray. Glory be to you, Father Almighty. On this holy day, you raised your Son from the dead and made us participants in his victory over sin and death. Glory be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Through your death and resurrection, you overcame death and opened for us the gates of eternal life. Glory be to you, Holy Spirit. You lead us into all truth and into the fullness of new life in Christ. Lord of all life and power, fill your church and us, your people, with the joy and triumph of Easter, that the world may see that today we do not commemorate a dead hero, but celebrate the victory of the living Christ and proclaim to people everywhere the new invincible life available to all who believe in him. To you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be all praise and glory today and forevermore. Amen. Let us sing together. I realised I didn't do the announcements at the beginning of the service. Before we sing the next hymn, I'm going to do the announcements. <clears throat> uh, well, I did talk about it being a communion service, just to announce that next Sunday it will be an online service only. And then Sunday the 23rd, the service will be led by Mrs. Liz, Liz Tad. And I've been asked by Elizabeth that if you have got mission boxes, it's your last chance now to bring them in. So please, if you've still got a mission box that needs to be emptied, please make sure that Elizabeth has it so that she can empty those mission boxes. Or if you make donations to the mission uh, support, please contact Elizabeth. Now we shall sing our first hymn. And have I got a hymn book? Number 930. Thine be the glory, risen, conquering King.
Our reading for Easter Sunday is from Luke's Gospel, chapter 23, reading through into chapter 24 up to verse 11. After Jesus had died on the cross, the women who had Sorry, starting at verse 50. Now, there was a man named Joseph, a member of the council, a good and upright man, who had not consented to their decision and action. He came from the Judean town of Arimathea, and he was waiting for the kingdom of God. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body. Then he took it down, wrapped it in linen cloth, and placed it in a tomb cut in the rock, one of which no one had yet been laid. It was preparation day, and the Sabbath was about to begin. The women who had come with Jesus from Galilee followed Joseph and saw the tomb and how his body was laid in it. Then they went home and prepared spices and perfumes. But they rested on the Sabbath in obedience to the commandment. On the first day of the week, very early in the morning, the women took the spices they had prepared and went to the tomb. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they entered, they did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. While they were wondering about this, suddenly two men in clothes that gleamed like lightning stood beside them. In their fright, the women bowed down with their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, he has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still with you in Galilee. The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day be raised again. Then they remembered his words. When they came back from the tomb, they told all these things to the eleven and to all the others. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the others with them who told this to the apostles. But they did not believe the women, because their words seemed to them like nonsense. Peter, however, got up and ran to the tomb. Bending over, he saw the strips of linen lying by themselves, and he went away wondering to himself what had happened. Here ends the reading. That's uh, Luke's account. The other Gospels fill in other details, uh, mentioning that uh, Nicodemus was with Joseph of Arimathea, and uh, putting in other details that we don't find there in Luke's Gospel. But together we can build up a picture of what happened on that first Easter day. We sing together now the Welsh hymn 564. We sing it to the tune of To God Be the Glory, but these are special words for Easter. My yesin vidigol, I bobble gaif view, and view Na chongwerul, trwy gariad mabdiw, er provi gwerthrom der, neim newin na gledd, dois bath ar a cariad a goredd a bedd.
Let us pray. O God and Father of us all, we bless and we praise you. You are the giver of life and of life eternal. By the love of your Son, Lord, you have triumphed over hatred. In his power, light has conquered darkness and life has overcome death. You have opened for us the gate of eternal life. Blessed are you, O God, now and forever. Lord, we are Easter people. Let Alleluia be our song. We give you thanks and praise for the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and for his appearances to his disciples, his friends, his loved ones. And we rejoice on this day with the whole church in the joy of the risen Lord. May we, who know the good news, be able to go and tell others that he is risen. Grant that your church in these dark days may help to bring peace and hope to a troubled world. Lord, give courage to all who have seen the evidence but not yet believed in Jesus and bring faith to their hearts. Lord, we are an Easter people. Let Alleluia be our song. O risen Lord, we seek your peace, peace for our war-torn world. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem, a city torn by religious rivalries, where there is violence at this time between religious different peoples of different religions and conflict and bloodshed. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the people of Northern Ireland as they celebrate the 25 years of the Good Friday Agreement. We pray that there will be no conflict or violence through these celebrations and the way forward may be found to achieve greater peace. We pray for the people of Ukraine and other war-torn areas of the world wherever there is conflict, Lord. May your people be able to work to bring peace. We pray for peace for our war-torn world. Peace between nations and peoples. Peace in our dealings with each other. Peace in our hearts and homes. Lord, we are Easter people. Let Alleluia be our song. As you appeared to your disciples where they were gathered in the house together, so enter into our homes, Lord. Come enter into our fear and darkness. Come enter into our enclosed lives and our fear to venture. Come with the glorious freedom you offer to the children of God. Lord, we are an Easter people. Let Alleluia be our song. We come with all who weep by gravesides, all who mourn the loss of loved ones, 
come with all who feel lonely or deserted. May all who mourn find new hope and joy in you. We remember those who are gravely ill, terminally ill, and all those who are caring for them. We think of all who have a heavy weight on their hearts or their minds for one reason or another. And all who have tears in their eyes. And we pray that they may all know the hope of Jesus Christ and eternal life through him. Lord, we are Easter people. Let Alleluia be our song. We rejoice with the disciples and with all your saints in the joy of the risen Lord. We thank you for that promise that those who believe in Christ have eternal life, that he goes to prepare a place for them. We thank you, Lord, that all who have loved the Lord are now dwelling in eternal life. Eternal light is shining upon them and they rejoice completely in the victory of the resurrection. May we also share in that victory. Lord, we are Easter people. Let Alleluia be our song. For we pray in the name of Jesus, our Saviour, our risen Lord, who taught us when we pray to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>